Hello guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye! Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today I want to teach you how to paint rolling hills. We will start with the sketch and our first step is to decide what is more important, the sky or the ground. Uh, in terms of our rolling hills, let's get one here, another one will be going over there. Maybe this is too much on the same side, so I will just move it over there. Then I would like to have another one coming here. And then let's see, and maybe another one over there. So that will show that progressively going into the back, those hills will be narrower, narrower, narrower. Uh, the hills probably would be not enough. And I would suggest that we'll place some nice trees on the top. That's that it will come smaller going back into the space. I see, like really very, very small. Something smaller there, so that means we'll make this tree bush a little bit tree i guess a little bit bigger maybe even another one over there see it's really really small and then something is going there now uh, if you want to represent the fields then we can of course use different colors and let's see show also the different uh, shapes of them however we can easily help ourselves with creating a road that is always a good trick to use. So this road will be quite wide um, on the bottom, closest to this bottom edge, and then narrower going into the space. Then we'll show that it continues there. And then from there, it will maybe go over there. You see narrower, 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 and never following exactly the same edges. So this will go over there. Very narrow here, and maybe even another one. Why not? We are representing it like this. Fantastic. The next step will be to work on the sky. And since I'm the right handed person, I prefer to work on the upper left corner and then move towards the other side. So, my trick is to start with the white. And I'm applying it thin layer to cover the surface and then. It will be so easy for me to continue with the other colors such as blue, a little bit of gray. And since the paint will be already there, that will be such an easy job. So I have a little bit of my blue, right? And then you can see how easy it is to move here. I mix my blue with white and maybe a little bit of buff color. And this mixture will go on my sky. It's quite a nice color, very naturally looking. And why I'm putting buff? Well, because when you just mix blue and white, the color uh, looks a little bit artificial, like a baby blue color. And sky certainly doesn't look this way. So our idea here is to bring those other colors into it, so to change the color towards more natural looking. So I definitely want to have my clouds so I can think already where I will place them or what I will do with them. Remember the sky will be a little bit lighter, either darker here on the top, lighter on the bottom or the opposite way. I suggest that we start with the lighter, lighter sky color on the bottom. Now I also bring another color into my blue, which will be the cobalt, because I really intend to change the color on the top. That should be not the same color as on the bottom. It doesn't need to be a huge difference, though I do need to establish a slight difference. Or the dramatic difference, whatever you plan to do. Maybe still a little bit of this maple uh, buff color. 
the end there and before we come back to the clouds on this stage we just leave them their way and now it's time to go to the ground and i think about colors such as green mixed with a little bit of yellow i don't want to have one boring color so that will be as you notice see how i use this brush not the classical way i'm really really looking almost using it as a, a stick what is important for me, well, I want to see how those colors work together. I also have some other combinations. You can see three diff uh, two, two different kinds of green, plus a little bit of raw umber and black. And I will definitely work with those colors. So my yellows, I just make them a little bit darker for myself even, just to see what is going on. So we have this, oh, this is the one here. Okay, this one is coming certainly here. And then I have the older here coming there. So you see on the spot, I'm fixing whatever is a booboo, I call it. So the one color that I'm missing is yellow ochre. And when I want to give this natural look to my heels, that I definitely will need this color being mixed with my green colors. And you can see how good and natural the place looks like now. Like that. And again, with the strokes, I can help the heel turn back like this and a little bit more, right? So we have this road going down. See, I still bring the screen into it and we do it as long as the paint is wet. I'm moving my heels here. I can see that they are the trees. I'm not worried about them. I'm just going to give a little bit of the primer or paper, empty paper surface um, that will be later filled with the color, but I don't need to be precise about it. And I also want to make sure that my colors differ, that they are not looking exactly the same. There should be some discrepancy among them. Otherwise, we'll be boring. Oh, again here, a little bit more. Oh, I don't want necessarily this color. I want to have this lighter yellow in this spot. Yes, I really want to keep this road. It's very important for me to have it there. Now, I will look at my colors. Let's see have some differentiations here and there good and then i will be going to this here which is the one one so we have a one two three the third one in the row you see how the color changes already and i like it very much the way okay so what it means that means that i have to darken a little bit of this here a little bit more the second in the row so that you can see the difference between the third and the second one. Certainly on this side here, I use a little bit more white, a little bit of buff color, as you can see there, and this will be my combination for this yellow. If I want to warm up the color right away, a little bit of yellow ochre or oxide yellow in acrylics, and that's what you can apply there. Very good. Still a little bit more. I do need to have the difference to show which heel is which. See, and I don't want to have it flat. So the strokes of the second heel went um, towards the right side. So I will do the opposite with the third heel. The strokes will follow the left side. Like this. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, I still believe that I have to warm up a little bit the heel, the second yeah, so this one, and this time I can bring more yellow. Okay, into it. Very good. It's very nice. And then we have to look at the one in the back. So what we will do with the fourth one, I think we can move towards the color that it's more on the light, the slide kind of cadmium, not even cadmium green, and then move it. See, so it's again opposite direction. Here we have the stroke, the third third heel had the, the direction of the scroll directed towards the left side. So this time we move towards the right side again. 
very skinny lines there so that will be okay we have nice difference here good and we have to really do something to the first one so the first one i suggest to show Oop, i want to clean my brush here nicely i want to have a little bit of this buff color and the nice light green As you can see, it works quite well. The same on the sides, very, very important. I need to really bring the difference. So maybe for the road, I want to go with again some white on it and the blue. Okay, so that will be my road. And it will be blue at the end, for sure, but I need to have a little bit of the color in it. I don't want to have just white. So I have a little bit of raw amber and then tiny bit of blue. And what is happening? The color becomes quite interesting. So now my strokes will follow the horizontal direction. So actually I can make this part a little bit wider. Like this. So I'm making the changes while working on this painting and so again you can see nothing is written in the stone. I have to make adjustments so that my painting will look the best. Okay. So I'm putting a little bit more yellow here. I think this yellow pushes the blue, uh, I'm sorry, the green to be sharp. I like it. Yeah, like this. Ha, ha, ha. beautiful and then you have to have some of it on this side uh -huh. and what I want to have I want to have a little bit of the brown on the sides like this you see this brown somehow create a better pattern so slowly but surely, we change the colors, we make adjustments to make this painting more interesting. Mm -hmm. I certainly want to have also some beautiful blue colors in the back okay, to indicate there's lots of going on, lots of action. So now I'm using the darker green, it's kind of which color could, could it be? Well, it could be, let's see one, definitely will have something here. But I do need to have the color, lots of blue in it as well. I need to have two different versions of the color. So when I want to apply it, I have, oh my goodness, so much white in it. So I have to decide on which side I would have more of the blue. As you can see, I decided that the blue will be on the left side. We have to figure out what to do with this land. So I will put a little bit of this lovely green to make it working better for us. Oh, la la. This. Because now we are looking for making this painting more interesting. So we are looking at the spots. You see how to add, how to how to um, how to spice up the color. So I think that because we have a purple here, so I need a little bit more of this lovely um, green that's very much on the yellow side. And I will even apply a little bit more yellow here. Not too much though, you can see this a little bit too much. It creates too strong contrast. I'm not looking for it yet. But I need something. Yeah, that's that's fine. That looks okay. I will just attach it a little bit more on right to the end. I don't need a little bit. And I do like this blue kind. Like really creating almost like a lines. So, and then again, opposite 
I just want to have a happy painting. So lots of action. And a little bit more. Good. And then the pot. The pot is really boring. So what do we do with the pot? Well, we can't have just this color. So I'm darkening. It's a little bit too dark, but that's okay. that you can come oh actually I have red here and I will use it to step in some places so I'm not going to put that just a little bit yeah. so what I will do I will introduce a little bit red into this mixture of black and white and what it does it gives me a quite nice grayish color on certain on the other side so it's nice contrast to the green. Something like this. That's good. And then I have to transport it to the other section. So a little bit of blue because I think I need some change as well. So I'm, I'm changing, I'm adding while working on the pattern. Like I have certain idea, but I'm open to changes. And that's very, very important uh, being an artist, that you always embrace new ideas that you think will be working better for your painting. Oh, good. Now we have to go back to the sky because the sky is underdeveloped. And lucky for us, the paint is still wet. So it's easy now to manipulate with, with colors. I think we can introduce also a little bit of purple because that will add to our painting to make it more dramatic. I just bring it here and there, and then I move to us the blue right away. Okay, and then we have to have this beautiful cayenne color. Still a little bit more moving, moving, moving. Now to simplify it just a little bit, I also want to apply a little bit of my pink. So you always like to experiment. I'm going to make it somewhere there. Just like this. Not a little bit of the pink will go into the clouds. Whoa! Why not, right? See, another cloud can come here, another one there. I want to have lots of action going on. So you see the pink will come on there into my clouds. I like to have it down. Okay, and then, then some of those clouds really small now will come on the bottom. Like this. With the pink for sure. A little bit of the buff color. Why not? It's especially like indicating on the bottom part. So I hope you enjoyed working on it with me and now we are ready to paint your own landscape showing the rolling hills. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye!